L.A.L. socks. Love at Lightspeed socks. Charlie Pereira is a hack writer. Her book was shit. Totally agree. Oh, my God. Hi, Debbie. Mm, now, school hall for the fifth. Uh, already booked for parent-teacher night. Perfect. And the budget? Uh... Will do. Today? Today. Now, the committee's morning tea, fruitcake or cream buns? Are scones perhaps less risky? Yeah, let's go with scones. You'll approve the purchase order? Yep, we'll do. You won't tell Gretel I've gone behind her back, will you? She always wants to make that wretched gluten-free fig loaf. Like, <laughs> Honestly, everyone knows she's faking being a celiac. No wonder Gerald left her. Well, I don't think that's why her husband left her, but... You always insist on seeing the best in people, Charlie. Cause... Anyway, good luck for your reading tonight. You must be looking forward to it. I... was. Matt. But Banzina knew they didn't have much time. If they didn't get back to the Tempest Pod before the end of the lunar cycle, they'd never make it back in time to stop the Qui-Gon invasion! Banzina reached out towards Lord Skulkin and cried, In the name of you, Quandria, and her seven scythes, Die, die alien beast. beast! And smote off his pustuled head. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. You've inspired me to write again. Book two, coming your way. I believe Matt never showed. Matt. Hmm? Yeah. You're amazing. I do my best. I would never have thought of an eight-headed Octoslayer. You will. Start writing. Thank you. <laughs> Are you really going to write a sequel? Maybe. <laughs> Writer with fans. Come here. Hi. Mm. Follow your dreams, Dora. Follow your dreams. Yeah. Matt. He's still in trouble. Jim. You all right? Better practice and he'll be a pro. And I'll be back every day for the first week to help. Yeah, no rush. Uh, about the reading. No, it's fine. There's a lot going on. Well, I'll make it up to you. Tomorrow, surprise gift coming your way. No more gifts. Between the flowers and the typewriter, it's bordering on overkill. What? That wasn't you. Yes. Liar? Then who was it? Secret admirer? Who came to the house? That's really creepy. Well, I'll have a look around. Better keep the doors closed for now, yeah? Brave farmer. Protect sexy principal. Being principal is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. It's lonely at the top. Mm. Is your top lonely? Hello, Tom. Can you breathe? It's a really good way to die. Hashtag <laughs> LAL sucks. How can aliens visit Dargania when it doesn't have hydrogen? Whatever. But 
sir. How can Benzania fly in orbiter when she's scared of flying hashtag holes everywhere? Because she's brave, idiot. Enlist <sighs> <sighs> oh. Empress Hajin to recapture the crystal moon, how would she do it? A letter? A mind message? No. She's direct. She just requests a meeting. Your Worship, I, Benzina of Epsilon, have travelled across the galaxy to request your assistance. No, to beg for your help. Hello? Hey! Stop! Stop! that he's giving me weird gifts? This is our land. How would a troll know where you live? No, you're getting confused. This is my secret admirer, not my troll. Well, why are you being trolled? About my book. That I'm not getting the sci-fi genre, that my alien psychology is unbelievable, blah, blah, blah. You better step back. Hello, Frank, is it? Why her police? Come out, please. I have a gun. Have you ever used it? No, but I know how to. Your well, training in real life are very different. Can you stop undermining me? I'm going to count to three. Tell him you have a taser. Can you go and stand over there? Yes. I'm actually trained for this. OK. One. Two. Two and a half. Three. I'm coming in. This is Francesca McCrawley, Frank. I can't believe it's you. You know each other? Uh, only from the book signing. What are you doing here? Did you leave me all those gifts? Yes. <laughs> I'm a pastry chef's assistant from Barrel. I bust it here. I love sci-fi and I really loved your book. OK. I didn't know how else to tell you. Thank you. I made you something. Charlie, did you want to press charges? No, I'm going to take it from here. Thank you. It's Maldaria from your book. Well, you two have a good day. Really got to read this book. You should come up to the house for a cup of tea. Get to see your house. You get to see my porch. I ran away once, when I was six. I made it all the way to the front gate. Hey. This is your second book, isn't it? Yeah, but it's not for public consumption. It's really good. Really? Gosh, this is so exciting. <laughs> oh, I'm glad someone thinks so. I mean, obviously, you'll redo the council stuff. Well, why? What's wrong with it? Well, now that Banzini is a council member, she has a conflict of interest being Zolanda's half-sister. There's, like, no way she can endorse her for VP. No, but that's the point. She can't see how unethical it is. She's flawed. All the best characters are. But she's your heroine. You'll lose your audience if they think she's corrupt. Plus, if the project find out, she'll be, like, totally executed on the spot. Yeah, exactly. Peril and danger for our protagonist to overcome. I think you can do better. 
Charlie. So Benzina only pretends to endorse Zalanda in order to fool the Jardinians into thinking she's corrupt. Ooh! But really, she's working behind the scenes on Commander Skyborn's campaign in order to secure the Catsick Alliance. Yes! Oh, have you blocked them? You can use the ignore command. <laughs>